I'm going to say this and then I ain't going to say nothing else. Look here. If you are a woman who's got yourself a good man and you that same woman that's taking that good man for granted. Oh, child, I mean, you doing everything you think you big and bad enough to do. I mean, you out there caring on because you know you got his heart. Let me tell you something, baby. I'm going to tell you, don't you make the mistake of getting out of his heart or losing his heart. Because if you do, you ain't getting them back. You ain't getting them back. Once a man is done with you, he done with you. It ain't like a woman. See, we, we, we allow you to come back, come back, come back, come back. Mm -mm. But once a man is done with you, he all the way done. Baby, I'm going to tell you something. If you got yourself a good man, you better behave yourself. Y'all here with your chest out, thinking you got it going on. See, and I'm going to tell you something. Single women, it's a whole lot of us out here. I mean, it's a millions, millions of women out here that's got it going on. Got their own car, got their own homes, look good, smell good, work hard, do all the things they need to do. Honey, they got it going on. You hear me? Let me tell you something. We don't like y'all. We don't like women who got good men and don't know how to uh, treat them right and take them for granted. We don't like y'all. See, because it's almost to us like wasting food, wasting a real good meal. See, that's what it's like to us. And let me tell you something, it's a problem. It's a problem because you are blessed to have yourself somebody that loves you, that wants to be with you, that wants to do things with you, that tells you he loves you, that's by your side, baby. When you got that, let me tell you something, you are blessed. Don't you take that for granted. Don't you take that for granted and be out here carrying on with your chest stuck out because you know you got his heart. I can promise you, you ever lose his heart, you in trouble because you will never get back in his heart again, huh? And it'll be some wonderful woman out here just waiting for herself a good man like the one you take it for. Interesting. <clears throat> what, what I like is that auntie is giving a heads up to the mm -hmm. younger sisters because mm -hmm. you see a lot of the older women mislead the younger ones. Now, auntie's saying, listen, when you got a good dude, you see when you got the gift horse, <laughs> it's not always going to keep giving you those gifts. So take it and run with it. Don't take it for granted. Mm -hmm. So it's good to see that auntie is putting some of these young girls up on game. It makes a change in, in what I do see as far as, sis, you are the prize. All right, cool. Keep believing that. You got a good one. You got a good one. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, um, look at Tia Mari, right? She didn't realize she had a good one. She went out yep. into the streets and we all know what happens. And whoever don't know, roll back and look at some of our videos. How hard is it in the dating oh, world now? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like out there for for, for a single woman? Do a shot of tequila? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I haven't been single for five years, yeah. so huh? I don't know what this world is like out there. But I know it. But from what I see and from what I hear, it is tough. It is very tough, mm -hmm. and it is exhausting. <laughs> like, it's exhausting. I'm gonna throw the towel in. <laughs> Someone had told me and I was I, I, I wanted to be like, no, I, I disagree with you and I don't want to believe it. My last relationship when dating was, you know, when I was, you know, dating this person, it was beautiful. It was amazing. It was wonderful. There was courting that was, you know, involved. Um, and I was saying how I feel like that's no longer, you know, uh, present meaning like people just don't court each other anymore and this person was like well you know that's just that's old news like people people just don't do that anymore there's just this whole new way of doing things and I'm like you mentioned tradition you know and I think that's where it kind of needs to go back to you know where you know a man is um, courting a woman and, and showing her you know how much he appreciates her and wants her and loves her or wants to be with her, they have this mentality right off the bat that there is someone else. Do you know what I mean? Like there, there could be someone else. That is it that they're the prize? Yes. Yes. We talking deep here. Yes. We about to get into it. Oh my God, that, that the man is the prize. The man is the prize. Yes. I'm talking loud. Yes. 
also it seems as if men are now just looking at women as objects. Things are so, um, it's like instant gratification. You know what I mean? They just want something like quick, quick and easy and now. All right. She thought the grass was greener. Yep. Obviously it wasn't. Nope. But yeah. Yeah. Um, I agree with her. I'm glad that we are hearing stuff like that from older women because you do hear the opposite from a lot of older women mm -hmm. and they um, encourage the younger generations to mess up their lives, basically, yeah. lead them astray. Um, so, yeah, it's good to hear <clears throat> that she's saying if you got a fight, it, sorry, if you found yourself a good man, keep him, hold him tight and don't ever let him go because once he's gone, he's gone. <laughs>